Hey Facebook, Jay Pitts, broker owner at Remax Premier Properties. You know, being a real estate person in the city of Louisville, we get to interact with clients that have tons of knowledge about college basketball. And at our client event yesterday at Hopcat in the Highlands, we thought we'd take a moment to see just how much they knew. Check it out. Okay, folks, we're back here for the JT Pitts and Associates installment of College Basketball Trivia. We're joined by Jeremy Chesser. How's it going? Thanks for participating. So, Jeremy, first question, what popular move was banned from college basketball in 1967 to only to be reinstated in 1976? Popular basketball move. Uh, I would say the dunk. Slam dunk is correct. College basketball move. Out of the slam dunk? That is correct. One for one. That and only to be reinstated in 1976. Sounds like the alley oop. Crickets. What shot would have potentially been banned? Alley oop. Correct, one for one, the slam dunk. Jen Pitts says via laughter. What school, question number two, what school did NBA great Larry Bird play his days in the NCAA for? Indiana State. Uh, Indiana State. Also correct, two for two. Indiana State. Indiana State is also correct. I'm gonna go with IU. Also incorrect. Indiana State University. Indiana. Unfortunately incorrect. Indiana State University. The Hoosiers. You're really not going to give me credit. I can't give you credit for that. Bobby made the same guess, and I didn't give him credit. If you weren't on the team, I might give you credit for that one. Okay, question number three. Which team won 10 of 12 titles ranging from 1964 to 1975? UCLA. The UCLA Bruins, three for three. Good start, Ryan. UCLA. Being a Kentucky fan, I can imagine you would know that. Always chasing the Bruins, right? UCLA, UCLA Bruins? The Bruins is correct. Three for three. I'll give you a hint. It's the one school that has more titles than the University of Kentucky. Spanning from 1964 to 75. UCLA. The UCLA Bruins is correct. I don't know any other school to say that than U of L. Question number four, which 1980 team in the bag was known as the quote-unquote doctors of dunk? The Louisville Cardinals. Make sure you get that on camera right there. Right there. Four for four, Nick. The Louisville Cardinals. Painfully said, but also correct. Question number four, which 1980 team was known as the doctors of dunk? Hint, a bird is their mascot with a bright yellow beak, and they're in our city. Doctors of Dunk. Okay, 1980, uh, is it Michigan? No. <laughs> now, you were close, but that is the Louisville Cardinals. The Louisville Cardinals. All right, last question. Let's see if you can be the first one to get that one right. UMBC made history as the first men's team to beat a number one seed in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Which women's team was the first and only 16 seed to beat a number one. <laughs> okay, um, I am going to say Middle Tennessee State. Also incorrect, folks. In the women's NCAA tournament, what's the only 16 seed to ever beat a one? No idea, but I'm going to say the Louisville Cards women. A one seed. Oh my gosh. Uh... I honestly do not know. I'm gonna go with the the Florida Gators. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you were gonna ask me like the mascot of UMBC because I would have had that Marquette. Unfortunately, not correct. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Um, 
DePaul. Which women's basketball team? Five for five. My wife, everyone, Miss Jen Pitts. 16 seed to beat a one seed. In the women's tournament. For women. I'm going to just go with something wild. There's something just popped into my head. Harvard. Am I allowed to curse? <laughs> Harvard is correct. I think she was reading my lips from across the room. <laughs> I'm going to give you some on that.